The ability to be able to band together to um, find solutions on the technology side to make sure that countries are sec energy secure because they don't want to have to rely upon upon Russia, for example. So Euro the Europeans obviously are moving with alacrity in this direction. Germany, I think, uh, saw in the first half of this year a 22% increase in solar. They need it. It's an existential question, obviously, because they have had such a great reliance upon Russian fuel. Uh, Great Britain, they just completely decided they were going to not use any. No Russian. more Russian energy. What does that tell you? They've got to move swiftly as well. So for people, it's not just a moral question. It is an, it, it's an issue of can we get enough reliable energy for our people right now? And of course, because we're talking about the climate and every one of their citizens is experiencing, experiencing these extreme weather events. So, uh, you know, it is, it has been a horrible year in terms of the war and in terms of eyes open about how vulnerable we all are when we don't create our own homegrown energy sources. But that is an accelerant as well toward the ultimate goal of getting, um, getting to 100% clean electricity or net zero by 2050.